Pakistan after a very tense struggle against South Africa, courtesy of a 74 not out from Ali Zariab, have beaten South Africa by three wickets. Obviously, it was really disappointing to be knocked out in the fashion that we were. Um, we didn't give the best account of ourselves on the day and it's really just disappointing not to be able to go to the next level and to the next stage of the competition and try and try and win the trophy. But I think our plans and our recipes that we, we had in place were really good. We just weren't able to execute it properly on the day. We really enjoyed our experience here in Christchurch and in Tauranga. Um, it's been a difficult one, like I say, obviously not going all the way, but I think the guys have really enjoyed themselves on and off the field. Uh, we've learned a lot about ourselves as people. You know, we've learned a lot about New Zealand as a country and we've, we've just really enjoyed our experience. I really tried to just lead the way for the guys. Um, it's my second World Cup, so I felt as a player and one of the senior guys in the group, it was really important for me to stand up in the difficult times and, and, sort, and sort of lead the way for the team. Um, it hasn't been easy. You know, I've got support from, from some areas of the group and some other times it's been a bit of a learn hand, but I really just try to put my best performances out there on the field and just leave everything out there. It's really important for someone like myself coming in the middle order to take control of the game. Um, a time when spinners come on, I've just tried to manipulate the spin as well as I can. Um, I've used a lot of different shots and I think the most important key for me was just trying to build an innings. Um, we've seen here yeah, it's not easy to get in, so I've gotten in twice now in those two innings and I've made sure that once I got in, I try to go as far as possible. I think uh, Wandi Limakwetu has been outstanding. He's coming under pressure, betting at five, uh, has really held the batting together in, in some crucial moments. And uh, it, it's been very impressive to see his growth over the last couple of years. So he's really impressed me. I think it's, it's quite nice. I mean, always in the captain's ear, I've got probably the best view on the field. I can see a lot of what's going on, what the bowlers are doing what the batsmen are doing, so to be able to be in that position in the game, it's quite a vantage point and to be in the captain's ear the whole time about what I think and what my thoughts are, it just helps to move the game a bit forward and also being one of the senior players in the team just to share my ideas with the captain from, from behind the stumps. It's a really special feeling, you know, it's, I've done it quite a few times now at under 19 level but I don't think you lose that sense of disbelief that you're actually putting on your pro tier colours every single day when you wake up, so it's a really special feeling and, and one that I wouldn't give up for the world. I just want to build my career up slowly. I want to go through the ranks of South African franchise cricket. Um, obviously, the big dream and the ultimate is to go all the way and play for the Protest, but I'll just take it one step at a time. You know, going back home now, the South African summer is on, so just to get some good performances under my belt there. And like I say, just earn my, my stripes throughout the ranks of South African cricket and hopefully one day go all the way.